Hi, welcome. We're at Intellisys. It's the conference about artificial intelligence, and I'm talking to many interesting experts and guests. With me is Simon Ruffier. Yes, you are a researcher and uh, you work at the, um, let me see, the University of Applied Science of Western Switzerland. Exactly. But you work in the Human Tech Department. Yeah, Human Tech Institute. Yes. And in this institute, we're mostly looking at uh, using technologies to um, improve the human well-being of, uh, of people. Yeah. So it can be any application, uh, any techn technology. We try to use uh, virtual reality, augmented reality, and mostly machine learning to um, improve the life or human well-being uh, in general. Yes, exactly. So, and, and, and one area you've been doing research about, and it's about um, bike rentals. Yeah, bike sharing systems. Exactly. And, or sh share them in any way, yeah. paid or unpaid. So what did you research about that? So um, the idea is for bike, comp bike sharing companies, mm -hmm. they have to put move bikes from one station to another, so to ensure that there is always a good quality of service for, for the end users. And it's quite a complex task because bikes are moving according to people's com uh, to commuting and things like that. Of course. And what we try to do is that predict this usage based on weather data and uh, on, on historical data to yeah. in order to facilitate uh, the operation of yeah, bike Yeah, so companies. historical, like, you know, that every Tuesday in February, then exactly, lots of people... Exactly, mm -hmm. or if it's raining, or if it's uh, people are not going to use their bike, if it's sunny, m many people are going to use a bike, maybe more tourists also are going to use a bike, yeah. not, not only commuters, mm -hmm. and uh, there's many, many, many factors which, uh, which yeah. impact the usage. Wha what are the other factors? Uh, for example, if there is a social event, mm -hmm. such as a conference, people may come to that <laughs> conference uh, with, with bikes, yeah. probably people living in, in London could, could come here. Festival. Or concert, or festivals, mm. or soccer games, or yeah. whatever sport event, mm -hmm. and there is a sta sta station nearby, then many people can come to, to this event, and we should be able to, to anticipate that and sure. to know this information in order to, to do that. What is the hardest part of predicting this? What is complex? I mean, there are lots of data. Uh, usage are not always the same. It, you cannot say that I because it's Monday. And eight no. o'clock, all people are going to come there because mm -hmm. maybe maybe it's holidays. There's lots of lots of factors, different factors mm -hmm. that impact the usage. Yeah. And even I mean the dynamic of the city. Uh, maybe last year, lots of people were using the bi uh, bikes, but not not that, that much this year because they were not satisfied with the service. Right. So it evolves over time. So we have to take th th this dynamic uh, in in consideration. Okay. So what's the main conclusion of the research so far? So far, it's of course it's. It's easy to predict for short-term uh, yeah. horizons. Mm. So in 5, 10, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, it's quite easy to predict the, the number of bikes available. But for longer term, we need more, more data in order to accurately predict uh, the usage or the availab availability of bikes. Do you have access to all the data you want? Not yet. Mm. We are w it's always hard to get um, more complex data, su su such as social uh, events and games and things like that. Uh, I mean, it would be easy to do that manually for a single city, mm -hmm, yes. but doing it automatically for any cities in the world, because that's right. the idea of, of a so such project is to be generic enough to be applied to, to many different cities. Everywhere. Yeah, yeah, mm -mm. Yeah. Mm -mm. So, so you tested it in six cities, right? Yeah, yeah, six and what were the biggest differences there? Uh, qu quite a few, depending on the weather, because we had, right for yes. example, na uh, Nice, as a Nice city, which has uh, about 200 stations. It's also a large number of stations. Yeah. S some stations are not that used. Uh, that much, mm -hmm. and some other stations are really used a lot, so ah. there is difference, you must understand that, you must mm -hmm. understand why. Yeah. Uh, if I'm not a company uh, managing this this ne network, and I'm not living in, in Nice, so it's obviously not easy to understand that by how myself. How it works. No. Yeah, how it works, so we're always happy to to have people from the, from the field to yeah. get their experience. So you have to have been there to um, make sure that you interpret the data yeah, in correctly the correct way. Okay. Yeah, exactly, yeah. to interpret the data. It's quite interesting to have some experts in the field or people managing such net networks. Yes, so we still cannot get rid of the people. We still need people to interpret it, your yeah. data. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah okay. Yeah. So what, what, is your, what, what is your wish for the future in this project? So now we're starting a collaboration with a Swiss uh, bike company or nice. sh shared bike companies, mm -hmm. and we want to to actually implement that in the system. So now now we do we have done research, we have shown that it's feasible, but uh, still there's lots of uh, work to be done to integrate such sy system with the, with their um, 
systems and systems, yes. and also the people that uh, move bikes, they must understand what we we tell them. I mean, yeah, it's you have not to learn them. Y yeah, we have how to, to work learn with them. You. Yeah, exactly, yeah. and how to right. interact with them so they can do that efficiently. And what 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 will the benefits be for them? Uh, reduced cost, yeah, mostly. Mm -hmm. uh, so for the companies, it, it's reduced cost, but for the end customers, it's a uh, better service because you. I mean, if you get there to will a station, be enough bikes. if you get to a station and there's no bike, then no. then you won't be happy. If nope. if you take a bike and arrive at a station and try to drop it, and you cannot drop it, yes, and you must go back to the previous station, walk ten minutes, you're uh -huh. not going to be happy neither. No, true. So you will not come back. Yeah, exactly. So the idea is to have to always have sufficient number of bikes. Yeah, like the right amount of bikes. Yeah, so people are happy. Exactly, and it's very healthy and good for the environment yeah, to ride a bike, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, it's always so better to, have to ride a bike than drive a car right. when Ma you can. Many purposes served. Yeah. Thank you so much for this, this very explicit part of artificial intelligence Thank research. You. Thank you. So, that was Simon Riffier, and you can see other experts talking on artificial intelligence on the YouTube channel Science and Information Conference. See you there. Thank you.